what's going on guys welcome back to the sinking city so i just ran back to glenn byer's house and now we have to talk to him about how he is going to turn himself in so let's see if he's still just yeah he's just waiting cool your family is safe now yes thank you so much uh, my sister-in-law just called to say evelyn and michael got there safely i owe you everything what happens now uh, should I turn myself in? Uh, first things first. You need to write a confession. It's your word against the witness. Uh, okay, I I'll take it over to the police station immediately. No, just give it to me. And the murder weapon. You still have it, right? Yes, sir. Here's everything. Good man. I'll go clear things up. I suggest you make the most of your time before the coppers come knocking. I'll get going. Okay. So, we'll connect the dots, and then we'll go to the police. Words pay the debt. Now that Bias don't have to worry about his wife and son, he'll confess that he killed Vanderburg. Thank you. Hmm, okay. <clears throat> oh, justice. Bias gun was the murder weapon. It's directly implicated in the crime, or whoever is found with this gun will be implicated in the murder. I could plant it and frame someone else. I think we want to see. If, yeah, I want to see if we can actually uh, frame the corrupt politician because he's a douche and he set us up. And if um, Glenn goes to jail, it's uh, there's no chance uh, or no guarantee that it will actually lead back to uh, Milton Pierce. Yeah, exactly. Milton Pierce tried to frame me, so I'm returning the favor. If I plant the gun among his bloody clothes and take a picture, Mr. Carpenter would um, consider it sufficient evidence against him. Okay, we're going back to Pierce's house then. Hopefully he hasn't had time to do the laundry. Why does only say key evidence collected here? Still. What am I to do now? You're just gonna wait. And afterwards you can go be with your family. I do understand his situation. Not saying it would do the same thing in his shoes, but I'm not saying I wouldn't do it either. I don't know. I haven't been in that situation, luckily. Okay. So let's see. Where do we have to go now? Oakland Police Department or Oh, that's the Throckmorton Manor, Carpenter. Crown Theatre. Hmm. Pierce's Basement. Okay. So, closest. Advent West. Then we just sail across. Alright. So, nearest fast travel from us. There we go. Man, this game actually um, brings out a bit of a darker side in me because I think I feel like whenever we pl uh, I play, um, well, I would not uh, completely call this an RPG, but um, games with moral choices. I usually try to take the high ground. But 
this dude, he crossed the line. So it's on him. Okay, so we are here. Down here to find a boat. And then just sail straight across. Up here, right? Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. We had to go out of the apartment to go to the laundry room. Go away. That the only thing that's gonna show up. Oh no, it is not. All right, all right, all right. Whoa, where did you come from? What's this? What's this creepy mist? Go away, all of you. Go away. Okay, so if we can take down that big guy. Yeah. Take some doing. They are resilient. Okay, we need something for the sanity. Come on, there we go. Whoa! Usually they don't blow up, do they? That's new. Okay. It didn't kill us. That's the important part. You guys. Fine. You can have the hatchet then. Or the shovel. This all goes from very casual to very stressful in such a short time. Okay. All evidence collected. There we go. Okay. To the police station then. And healing. Never know when something jumps at, jumps at us. So easiest way to the police station. Hmm. It is all the way down here. Yeah. Okay. So cover side west. So it's back in the boat. Back in a boat, I should say. It 
does feel a bit weird. We haven't really found any fast travel points out here. Extra, extra. All the news that's fit to print. Buy a paper mistake. Okay, so there we go. Take a small boat, sail across, fast travel near the police station. Let's frame this douche. side west here we go finally we can clear our name not in the honorable way but in the fair way I would say you better start brown nosing carpenter if it were up to me We'd have already thrown away the key. Sir, I didn't do a thing. Oh, really, newcomer? Uh, shall I read your record aloud? Go ahead. I'm a good citizen. <laughs> a good citizen with a shotgun. People like you are best kept in jail, if not the asylum. You're not so good with people, are you, officer? Men like you are why this city is a mess. You blow off locks and break into houses to ransack them. You stroll the streets with a loaded gun, firing at innocent passers-by. And don't you dare deny it. Hmm. Yeah, none of this is actually denying it. When you put it like that, I can see how I may have made some errors in judgment. Forgive me. I'll try to do better. Well, that's <laughs> a good start, Mr. Reed. Assuming you're not being sarcastic again. Just remember, if it weren't for your powerful friends, you'd still be rotten in Oakmont Jail. Yeah. All evidence collected. So, who are we... Who are we giving the uh, evidence to? Oh, Carpenter Taskmaster. As evidence of his guilt. Should be enough to prompt the police to search the manor. Okay, so we're going to the Carpenter Manor. I thought we were going straight to the police. I should have read that more carefully. That's on me. My bad, guys. But we can get pretty close to the Carpenter Manor. Yep. We can indeed. Right around the corner, and that's where we should find the Taskmaster. If he's still outside having his, what seems like, eternal smoke break. He is. That's not good for your lungs, buddy. I have proof that it was Milton Pierce that killed Johannes Vanderberg. Show me what you've got. The murder weapon is in his house and a pile of bloody clothes. Here's a photograph. I don't know how you managed to pull this off, Reed. But it's impressive work. We'll take it from here. Accusing a mayoral candidate of murder is an interesting challenge. But the Carpenter family has tackled worse. Bye. Eerie feeling. Oh. You've been doing a great job, Mr. Reed. I'm waiting for you at the Devil's Reef Hotel. What? Are we gonna talk to ghosts now? Because uh, he's all kinds of dead. 
But I guess we're going back to our hotel then. We haven't been there for ages. Yeah, eerie feeling. There's definitely an otherworldly presence near the carpenter house. I can feel it in the air. And then we saw the ghost of <clears throat> Johannes. Okay. I guess we are going to um, back to Devil's Reef then. Man, we haven't been there for ages. Feels like so long ago. There we are. Let's see if we can put an end to this case. Devil's Reef Hotel. Oh, this place is uh, more lively than the last time we were here. Are you friendlier? I'm watching you, newcomer. That was a resounding no. Can't carry any more shell casings. Can we at least make some ammo then? Not much. Makes. Hmm. Nope. 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 We can make one heavy bullet, one light bullet. All right. Let's just fill up on shell casings then. Guessing we just go up to our room. Where was our room? Second floor? I think, think so. We had a door sign, right? With our name on it? Nope, not here. We were, we were on the first floor then. Oh yeah, here we go. Makes this place feel more like home. I miss Boston already. Whoa, uh, dude. You are very much dead. What are you doing here? Okay, let's just... How? How is this possible? Yeah, exactly. At last, Mr. Reed. I heard about your recent case. Let me congratulate you. You've truly outdone yourself this time. A question, if I may. Yeah, exactly. We have questions of our own. I've got a question. Yeah. How on earth are you still alive? What can I say? Perhaps next time you should make sure you finished the job. <laughs> it wasn't me and you know it. All this. All I went through, and there was no murder to begin with. The prosecution would beg to differ. They had all they needed. A victim, a method, and a culprit. The rest is just bells and whistles. <laughs> you set me up. You son of a... I only set the scene. I'll... What? Kill me? As amusing as it would be to see you charged with my murder a second time, I'm afraid we have more pressing matters. What do you mean? You know exactly what I mean, Mr. Reed. The prophecy. The seal. You have made yourself a part of something momentous. Now, to your latest case. Wonderful execution all round. And I mean that literally. The hanging has been scheduled for next week. Tell me, Mr. Reed, why did you do it? Why condemn a man of such high station for a crime he did not commit? Yeah, he did. Must have done plenty of crimes. He testified against me and conspired to have his mother killed. Indeed. His corruption was common knowledge, yet you were the only one who acted upon it. Regardless, I shall call this experiment a success. In fact, you should consider it a taste of your ultimate trial. 
I don't understand. What do you get from all this? You are headed into the darkness, Mr. Reed. I'm giving you the experience you'll need to find your way through it. No more riddles, Johannes. If you need something from me, talk. I am. You're just not listening. You have a great destiny. Destiny beyond comprehension. To be more than a speck of cosmic dust. To make waves across the universe. To end things. End what? Everything. You've suffered in this city from the very beginning. From the moment you were born, in fact. Wanting to end it is only natural. But unlike those untold millions before you, you have the power to do so. You can turn mere prophecy into absolute truth. You don't mean... The seal of Kotiganar is in your hands. You possess the key to the gates, and all they hold within. You can close them and cling to mankind's misery for a few more cruel centuries. Or you can open them and end it. And you will do the latter. Yeah, why would we do that? End everything? Why? Why would I destroy everything? Because otherwise your life amounts to nothing. Do you know how many chosen few there have been over the centuries? Nameless hordes, sacrificed at the whim of invisible masters. Not unlike those who watered the poppies of Flanders with their blood. But our sacrifices mattered. We won the war. A war with many yet to come. This is your kin's nature, your purpose to suffer. Your monkeys in an open cage, unwilling to walk out. Only you can make a difference. You can end it all for good. Hmm. Yeah, why does he keep talking like we are not of the same species? They keep referring to us as you and the or your kind. I mean, this definitely seems like the interesting dialogue choice. So, I don't think we're gonna be stuck on any path just yet. When you put it like that, I think I agree. Splendid! The puppet is finally cutting his strings. Fear not. I'll be by your side all the way. There is an archaeologist in this city. He is very close to unraveling the secret of Katiganar. And you'll need his help to get inside. His name is Joseph Hill. Here's his address. Talk to him. Earn his favor. Seriously, all that and you don't even know how to find Katiganar? <laughs> if I knew that, would I be working with a private eye? This is wrong, Johannes. All of it. And I still have no idea why I should even believe you. The truth is the truth. Whether you believe it or not, you can accept it or try to put the blindfold back on. It doesn't matter. Farewell, Charles. Whether we speak again or not, I will be watching. And don't lose the seal again, or all your effort in this city would go to waste. Okay, buried secrets. Did we look in this before? My diary part two. I think we only read part one. The doctors at the bus and asylum were looking for a way to fix me. Proved to be a tall order. At first they asked me questions, I thought my story would be reported to the officials, but they were just taking or just making a list of things to fix. I feared water, so they swaddled me in drenched sheets. I told them about the things in the darkness, so they kept me in dark rooms blindfolded. No progress until they brought me the electrodes. They kept my thoughts jumbled. Only the words of the doctor held my mind together. He told me who I am and how to think. He gave me concoctions to keep me sane. It seems I'm getting used to it. Question is, for better or worse? 
Oh. Got an, uh, a new outfit. Didn't even realize we did that. Looks cool, though. Yeah, we can rock this for a time. So, EOD is poisoning people. Recently, doctors have reported numerous cases of fatal food poisonings among those who have received fish from the organization known as the EOD. What is the reason for these deaths and what would the EOD stand to gain from them? These questions remain unanswered, but perhaps the famously charitable, charitable organization is not that charitable after all. In any case, we highly advise our readers to stay away from EOD members and to refuse any gifts from them, especially food. The cost of a free fish might be your life. Oh, cool. So these are uh, the cases we've cracked. Okay, canning factory mystery. The Blackwood Marsh canning factory was la uh, last night the site of some sad and unusual event. According to neighbors, inhuman screams and shouts in an unknown language could be heard from several blocks. Witnesses also reported seeing flashes of lights in an unnatural color they struggled to describe. Ebonote Blackwood, the final representative of the Blackwood Grant family, was later found dead inside the factory. The cause of death could not be established, but with it comes the end of one of the pillars of Oakman society. In memoriam. Today we are all shaken by the tragic death of the promising researcher who went to study the depths of the sea, but were doomed to never return. The city mourns the loss of these brilliant minds who laid down their lives for the sake of science. The names of the expedition members will be engraved on a memorial establishment at Oakman University. Harriet Doe's death. In sad news for many at Oakman University, beloved scientist Harriet Doe has passed away. The professor of archaeology was found washed up on Clamshaw Marina by a passerby. A passerby. The Oakman Chronicle would like to express our sincere condolences to everyone who knew and loved Harriet Doe. Oakman will mourn the loss of a mind with few peers. These are all the cases we. Uh, or have gone on. Misfortune has struck the Carpenter household. Graham Carpenter, son of the Grand family's head, Brutus, has been found dead in his room. Oh, he told us not to worry about what he did. Doctors suggest that the death was the result of a food poisoning and have pointed the finger at bad fish as the cause. Carpenter Sr. cremated his son with all due honors and immediately returned to active participation in city life after a long vacation. I do not have the time to mourn, he told our reporter. I have more important things to do. Hmm. So, what now? Oh, you are not dead, unless we are hallucinating again. Damn. That looks like it was painful. Oh, and he's just straight up gone. Are we losing it again? Okay, so we are full up on everything here. So, buried secrets. That's our new main case, but we have so much stuff to do that we need to check out. Since we already have made some progress in through the looking glass, 
I think that is going to be our next case. Randall Glassworks. So let's see. Where was... That. Uh, Eel Street, Clamshaw, so it's in Salvation Harbor. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So that is our next destination. Clear. Our nearest would be Salvation Harbor West. Oh, all the guests are gone again. Costume unlocked. King's robes. Just a second. Oh, and we got a new uh, article up already. King's robes. Oh, that's cool. Whoa. Okay. So let's just check this. Politics, politician executed. The murder of a famous... Um, of the famous mystic Johannes Vanderburg has been solved. As unlikely as it may sound, the killer appears to be one of Oakman's most prominent politician or political figures and top majoral candidates. Milton Pierce, neither money nor uh, status status, could help Mr. Pierce escape the law despite his pro uh, protestations of innocence. Justice was served and Mr. Pierce has been executed by hanging yesterday. What will happen to the election race and who else may decide to throw their hat in the ring? Only time will tell. Okay. So, tell you what guys, I am going to take a break here. And I will pick it back up when we are outside the glassworks again. This was uh, a pretty cool one. Lots of cool exposition here, or oh, explanations to a lot of different stuff. So yeah, I'm going to pick it back up when, we get to, when I get back to the glassworks. So, thank you guys so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed. And be sure to stay tuned for the next one. Until then, take care. Bye.